Hello there. Now this really did surprise me, so I wonder what you'll make of it. Today I'm going to present you with some data regarding the health emergency that might well surprise you about deaths over the last few years and a specific government response to the health emergency. And I'm not going to come to any conclusions or say that there's anything right or wrong. I'll leave that for you to decide. Now I'll be looking at official government data from the Office for National Statistics together with data from an organisation called Our World in Data who I'm sure just produce the information and have absolutely no axe to grind. And the time frame of this is from January 2021 to September 2022 regarding the arm administered cough mixture with that particular programme having started in the previous month, December 2020. Now one point to note is that our World in Data produced a graph to show the percentage of those in the UK who took at least one course of the mixture. From their graph-based data, I produce my own version. And as you can see from that graph, there was a fast take-up at first, which then tailed off to hit 80% by September 2022. And that's as far as that data goes. And you can also see the spreadsheet generated average across that time frame. That average was a 66% take-up of at least one course for the period. So from January 2021 to September 2022, the average proportion of the UK population to take up the offer was 66%. Now that's according to Our World in Data. Some government sources in the BBC have made the odd claim that it is much higher. But I'll leave that for you to decide. Our World in Data does state on their graph, though, that it shows the share of people in the UK that have had at least one course and that source, official data collated by Our World in Data, last updated 27th of August 2023. Now, against this, I took a look at two different sets of data from the Office for National Statistics, the ONS. This is official government data and we should have no reason to doubt it. The two sets of data go from January 2021 to May 2022 and from March 2022 to May 2023 with a couple of months overlap. But I've only used the portion of the second set of data that goes from June to September 2022. I then added the two sets together so that the ONS data covered the same period as that of our World in Data graph with no overlap, as indicated. And this ONS data refers to the number of people who passed away every month during that period. And what did this data tell me? Well, the first thing to point out is that I had to extract individual data from one of the spreadsheets, but I'm sure I did it correctly. Anyway, what I found was that between January 2021 and September 2022, of all of the deaths in the UK over that period, where the relevant bug that we all know so well is mentioned on the death certificate, among those that said yes to the mixture, there were 72,320 deaths. And amongst those who had so far said no, there were 46,571 deaths. But where all causes of death are concerned, including those with the relevant note on their death certificate, among those who said yes, it was 1,179,682, and amongst the no's, it was 156,581. But the big thing here is the percentages involved. Bear in mind that, as I said earlier, the average take-up within the whole period was 66%. So let's take a look at that, the percentage of all the deaths to occur within each group. 
Where the note on the death certificate is involved, the yeses had 61% of the deaths and the noes had 39%. But where all causes is concerned, the yeses had 88% and the noes had 12%, compared to the take-up rate of 66%. So the stats where the relevant causes on the death certificate is 61% to 39%, not that far off the same as the mixture take-up rate of 66%. What can we make of that? But where all causes is concerned, the death rate ratio is 88% to 12%, with the 88% being among the 66% of the population who had so far said yes. What on earth can we make of that? Now, I also took a look at the total period covered by the ONS data from January 2021 to May 2023. And the data was as follows. Where the relevant note appeared on the death certificate, 65% of deaths were among the yeses and 35% were among the noes. And where all causes is concerned, nearly 90% of deaths were among the yeses and about 10% among the noes. And looking again at the graph of take-up, you can't see it growing much more than 80% over the following months to May 2023. So the average take-up rate might have gone up another percentage point or two, maybe. And once again we see that where the relevant cause is on the death certificate, the death rates almost match the take-up rate. But when all causes is taken into account, nearly 90% of the deaths occurred within the 66 or so percent of the population that said yes to the mixture. Now this could all be wrong if our world in data is wildly out on its take-up figures. But it is an oft-quoted source of statistics and trusted by many. Finally, I also looked at the months just for 2023 and the ONS data shows that where the relevant note is on the death certificate, 94% of deaths occurred within the yeses and 6% were in the group of noes. And where all causes are concerned, 95% are amongst the yeses and 5% are amongst the noes. And if the average take-up rate for the whole UK is still under 70%, now as I said earlier, there are claims out there that the take-up rate is as high as 94%. But are they substantiated in the same way as the data from Our World in Data is, which is a part of the Global Change Data Lab and appears to have a lot of highly qualified people working for it? But I'll leave you to decide that. And also to decide if I got my maths right. But the data is out there. And if you're a spreadsheet type of person, you might want to check my figures out. But it does raise some interesting questions, doesn't it?